<laughs> what up, dude? <laughs> Are you ready for the most honest daily vlog you've ever seen? I'm not gonna fake anything in these videos. So be prepared for a daily upload from here in Spain. My life here in Spain. No bull crap. It's all gonna be real. I was like, what do I do for my first daily vlog? My first official one in Spain. I don't know, I'm gonna go hike. <laughs> well, it's 2.30 p.m. I haven't done anything yet. I've just been watching YouTube in bed. Why? I don't know. I don't know why I, I do this to myself. Flip, yeah, I, I need to take a cold shower because there's no hot water in this place. But that's what I'm gonna do. That's, that's it. All right, let's... Uh, yes, my shower is right there. <sighs> Cold showers are my favourite. That's the first thing I want to do after getting out of a warm bed is get in a cold shower. Okay, so literally the first thing I do in the morning is make some cereal. That's the most exciting part of my day. That is barely half a ball. Ah. So I guess my morning mission is now to go to the grocery store to get more cereal. All right. <laughs> Navigating these really narrow roads to get out of here. Oh, it's so lovely coming outside and having sunlight. Wow. I don't know how beautiful it is here. And it's still winter, it's not even that warm yet. <sighs> One apple tea. just got back with my groceries and then somebody in the building around here told me that I can't park my car here even though I've been here for two weeks so I don't want to push my luck I'm gonna move it probably gonna take it to the beach the beach is an hour away so I have to walk all the way back but it's fine I don't really use the car so I can put it I try to put it somewhere safe it felt safe here but yeah, I guess I'm allowed to park it so yeah it's good. I left him at the beach goodbye all right I made it to the beach the sun is set the day is over, but I still have an hour now to walk back home because I have to park on the beach. I suppose this is what happens when I stay up late and I don't get a day. At some point during this week when I have fixed my sleeping pattern, we will go hiking. It's going to be epic. I haven't left the city since I arrived, but I have made two friends this week, so that's nice. I know two people now. Alright, I'm going to go step in the ocean and then walk home. the sketchy part of the journey so now I have to go across the train track to get to the park. The park is like a long park that goes all the way through the city but it doesn't start until this point. Like there's like a weird racetrack thing you have to go through. I've done that bit now I'm gonna go this way.
think it's quite beautiful. I can see a lot more than you guys can. Eyeball night vision is a bit better. There's always these ancient buildings that just tower over everything else. So I just want to show you some of them. Some of the ones I've come across. Like all the other buildings are relatively young. And then you just have things like this. There's everywhere, it's every street. You'll find something like that. One of the biggest reasons I chose Valencia to live in is because I love history. I, I love like ancient stuff. Ancient European stuff, like the Spanish. They conquered most of the world when they were pillaging and colonizing. They, they took ships everywhere and brought back a lot of wealth to Spain. So you do have these really ancient old buildings just all over the place. Valencia is one of those places where the wealth arrived because uh, there was a big port. Like we're on the coast, so there's a big uh, port where they could bring all their treasures, all their earnings from the pillaging, whatever they got up to. I just like to wander old cities. And it's nice that I get to do this every day. <laughs> like, I, I'm not getting tired of it. and wanted an honest look at my life. So that's what I'm gonna give you. Ain't no crap here. This is just how I'm living. <laughs> Tomorrow is my nine year anniversary on YouTube. It's not technically my nine years on YouTube. I've been on YouTube for 12, 13 years maybe. So it's the nine year anniversary that I started posting on my main channel. So that's why I treat it like my nine year anniversary. It's kind of wild. I don't feel like I've even got started yet. Like, I've been posting on it, sure, but I haven't really been chasing anything. I haven't really set a goal for myself. Like, it was nice reaching half a million on the main channel, but then, like, I didn't pursue it. I didn't continue for the other half a mil. I know how much work it takes to get to a million subs. I've seen people do it. I've seen friends do it. I know how much work goes into it. And I've never really had a stable place to call my own where I could relax and then concentrate and pursue a million subs. Because of course that's like the goal. That's where I, whatever YouTuber wants to do is reach a million. Just because it's such a cool achievement to do. And I know I could do it, but until I have my own place, which I've never really had, then I can't do it. It's too difficult. Like I need a place where I can build a team, invite people to come work with me. If I'm just couch surfing and living in an Airbnb and just backpacking all the time, I'm never going to be able to build a team. I'm always just going to be solo. Like I'm always alone, but I'm never really alone. I think that's why I'm so at peace with being by myself. Because I'm never, I'm never alone. And I don't feel lonely having you guys to talk to either. Although, in my reality, you're just a black, inanimate object. I know that my words are teleporting into your ears. So that's why I don't feel alone. It's a very one-sided conversation when I speak, but I know that once this goes up, you guys can then talk back to me. And I, I love that so much because it just makes me feel like I actually have company. It's such a strange thing that I've done for the past nine years. I've just been floating around, just floating, like trying to understand life. Growing up, I was a teenager when I started posting on the main channel. <laughs> I'm now 28. <laughs> I feel so mad. I'm sure some of you that have been watching me were teenagers and now you're in your 20s too. It's so weird. It's pretty late already, but I've turned it now. It's 9.20. I need to publish yesterday's vlog, edit this one, and then upload it overnight. And then in the morning, I need to get to work on my 
main channel video celebrating the nine years on YouTube. I'm not gonna have much time to get the video done, but I know what I want to make. I'll keep it a secret for now, and hopefully I can get it done tomorrow and get it posted on the main channel. So yeah, I just wanted to say a thank you for joining me today. Tomorrow, I will wake up earlier. As long as I get all my work done ASAP, then I will wake up earlier. I'd like to take you guys on another adventure. Maybe we leave the city, depending on how early I get up. I'm just grateful that you guys have allowed me to leave my hometown of Wales. Every time I've left, it's because you guys have been supporting me. Whether it's just watching the videos, um, giving me nice comments, or financially supporting me through fractals. Whenever I make something, you guys are always there to support it. So thank you. I'll probably get a bit more soppy in tomorrow's video because it'll be my anniversary. It's fun daily vlogging again. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, more V3i. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.